Hi, it's Jill Foster here with another PB&J card class and today I'm so excited to be sharing with you how I am using gouache paints with our newest brush stroke stamps. So here is a look at the cards that we will be creating. I just love the effect of the gouache paints with these brush stroke stamps. I think it just gives a really bold look and it's actually very, very easy to do. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention I will have a full supply list at the very end of this video. And at that point, if you want to hit pause and check it out in more detail, you can. The first stamp we'll be using is 40-726 Dazzle by Penny Black. And if you're new to brush stroke stamping, I highly recommend this stamp. It's really easy to work with. Now I am using the Arteza gouache paints. And the kind folks at Arteza sent me these paints and I have completely fallen in love with them. I will have a link down below um, for these paints, the set that they sent me, as well as a coupon code that they have shared if you are interested in giving them a try. Now I just bought a really cheap palette at Walmart and I'm just squeezing them on here and for this technique I am using the paints right out of the tube. Now I do like to put them in the palette because you can re-wet these paints and keep using them with water um, but for really opaque coverage and ease of application I'm using them right out of the tube. Now I did stamp this and I thought I was recording and I'm so sorry I did not get it recorded I forgot to hit the button but I stamped this using Ranger archival inks the mini ink pads and what this does is it allowed me to put just a layer of yellow onto the flowers and green onto the stems and these paints are opaque so what this does is that if there's any places that I miss um, with the painting that green ink or that yellow ink will be right there shining through and so I can be a little bit less precise with my painting. Now on the next card I'll show you that you don't have to do it this way. I stamped in a stamp positioning tool onto smooth cardstock and I am just picking up that paint and painting right over the stamped image. Now you'll see that these stamps are designed to give you ideas where to put light and dark so it makes it really easy when you're adding your shading. I recommend to have the packaging right nearby if you're not sure where to put things where it should be light or dark. There's really no wrong way. I say as long as you just have some visual interest and contrast between light and dark it will end up looking beautiful but these paints are opaque so you can put dark colors on top of light colors or light colors on top of dark and as you can see I can put them right over the ink and then that ink does not show. I'm using the small detail brushes from Arteza and I'll link those below along with the stamp as well and I really love these with the gouache paints. They work really well. Now these paints I'm using like I said just right out of the tube without any water but you can also add water to these. More water to get more of a watercolor look and less water for more of sort of like an acrylic paint look. They just go on really smooth here. You can see I've mixed in some darker greens for some shadows and I'm just blending that right on top of the lighter green and now these leaves are just really coming to life. They have a painterly look. They don't look like they have even been stamped. I think that's what is so charming about this technique is that they just look like you sat down and painted them. And if you're a person that sort of loves that look of no line coloring but are not a fan of watercolor or feel like when you're watercolor painting that things are really bleeding and blending and you don't have as much control, I really recommend giving this technique a try because you have quite a bit of control. Now you can see here I'm going in with my darker colors and adding that into the darker shaded areas on the flower, sort of using like a flicking motion with the brush that uh, mimics the look of the stamp and how that's done on the flower. And I'm just using that and just sort of blending it in here and just flicking that on. You could see because I stamped that with the yellow, you honestly could just add this darker color and be done and have part of it be stamped and part of it be painted. But I am going to go ahead and add my lighter colors with the gouache paints just for a complete look that is the same but if you were had less time or um, only one color of paint that matched your color palette, you could definitely do a mix of the 
paints and the ink stamping. Now I do recommend when you do stamp these that you use a waterproof ink. So here I'm using the Ranger Archival inks and on the next card I will be using a Versafine ink. So that way when you add your gouache paints on top that stamping underneath does not begin to bleed or blend. You can see here now I'm going in with more of a yellow tone and blending that kind of going over the edge of the orange and then just blending it up a little bit higher onto the petal. And then I'm going to add a few spots of a lighter color and this really adds I think a softness to the image. And that's what I love about the gouache paints is that you can go in with these lighter colors and just really soften things up. Now I will have all of the exact colors, numbers, and names that I have used listed in that supply list up on screen at the very end of the video. So like I said, if you want to check that out in more detail, you can hit pause at that time and check that out. And right now it's just a matter of kind of going back and forth and playing around with the colors that I want. You can see, like I said, this stamp is very easy to work with. Um, I'm just coloring right over where the stamping is and those areas that are white within the flower, the stamp is telling you leave these as the highlight and that is what really makes for a image that comes to life and I love that that's just built into the stamp for me. You can see here I added a touch of pink and I'm putting a little bit more yellow on top just kind of adding a little bit of that pink mixed with the yellow to give these a pe soft peach look. That's another thing if you like a touch of almost pastel look for cards, especially this time of year coming into spring or at least dreaming about spring, <laughs> these gouache paints can give you that pastel look very nicely along with also some vibrant colors like you can see here I'm adding this rose color in mixed in with those softer tones. And I do love adding just a little touch of that pink here and there for some added interest. Now there's lots of different ways to work with these brush stroke stamps. This is just another technique that you can use with them. If you go through our YouTube channel here on Penny Black Ink, you'll see I have several videos featuring lots of different techniques with brush stroke stamping and also how to do sort of that first base layer of stamping that I'm so sorry I didn't capture on video with just stamping the green and the yellow using the stamp positioning tool. So if you just look through our YouTube channel really there are tons of videos on how to use these brush stroke stamps and they would all work with this stamp. Like I said this is a great stamp if you're just starting with brush stroke stamps or you want something that's very easy to work with I highly recommend this Dazzle um, stamp. You can see here I'm just going in with that sort of feathering sweeping motion with a little bit of color here and there onto the flower. Now if you paint sort of outside the lines or in an area that isn't stamped you don't need to worry. No one who receives your card will be, have the stamp and what you painted or colored right next to each other. They'll never know so don't worry if you do that. Don't stress about that. You can see here this lighter pink just really gives it that peach tone and that feathering motion I think adds to sort of that soft textural look that you do get with an actual flower petal. And these small brushes work perfectly for that. Now for this particular card I did then go ahead and stamp these tulips up in the other upper left hand corner sort of going down just for some more variety and then I painted them um, using the same techniques. So don't be afraid with these brush stroke stamps to try different placements. You could do them around the perimeter of a card right in the center as a focal point. There's lots of different ways to use this Dazzle stamp. And then to finish off the card I've used this really versatile new sentiment stamp 30-680 million thanks. And I love all the different combinations you can use and that because they're separate stamps you can modify sort of the color. So the thank you I was able to stamp in green and for the beautiful flowers in black. Now for our next example with this technique using our brushstroke stamps and the gouache paints I am using our 40-746 Lovely Lilac Stamp. Now instead of stamping this in the actual colors I just went ahead and stamped this onto smooth white cardstock 
using VersaFine Smoky Gray ink. Now this is a great ink to really pick up lots of details and it's really easy to stamp with. I did it in a stamp positioning tool, but you can also just do this with an acrylic block. And again, I'm using the paints right out of the tube, so they're very thick at this point and very opaque, and I'm just painting right over the gray. And you can see the gray disappears. And if you don't get it painted perfectly and a touch of that gray shows, I think it adds a very nice shadow effect and dimension to your petals. So if you wanna keep things really simple, you really can just stamp these in gray and then paint on top. Now, instead of adding a lot of sh shading to each petal in order to give this stamping interest, what I've done is gone ahead and just painted different sections of the petals or the flowers in different colors. And that gives the interest and the variety to the image without having to go in and adding lights and darks to each petal individually. So I am using some purples and some blues and some turquoise and some of these gouache paints have a metallic finish and you can actually purchase just a metallic set or a larger set that has the metallics in it. And so I can't remember if I show you in this video how that catches the light, but it's really beautiful. They um, go on just the same. So this purple is one of the metallic colors and you will see that in the supply list at the very end of the video. This is another stamp that may look complicated or um, you may be wondering, how can I ink this? There's lots of different ways to do it, but I find this is just a really fun way to simply paint these and get a really great result without having to worry about the inking. You could actually stamp several cards with these brushstroke stamps just in gray and have them ready to go and sit down and paint them all at once or kind of assembly line style. And you can keep them very simple. Um, for the cards today, I've pretty much kept white backgrounds and then added some interest with some of our beautiful new sentiment sets. And I will show you some more cards at the end of this video that I've done with the newest brushstroke stamps using this technique. So once I had painted in those flowers, I just added a touch of orange here to the centers. It's amazing what that bright color adds to the image. And if you put the paint on kind of thick, you will get even some texture to that as well. And then again, I'm just going to paint in using this very nice fine brush from Arteza, the stems, and I'll link those brushes down there for you too, along with the stamps and the paints down in the YouTube description box below. So if you have any questions about particular products, be sure to check out the supply list at the end of the video and also the YouTube description box. And that image is finished and I just went ahead and stamped it again to finish off the card and painted it. And for my sentiment, I've used this miniature transparent set called She Builder and I love, love this set. There's the word she in a larger block print and then lots of different sentiments that go with it. So for this card, I did she stamped in the blues to match the florals and then believe she could so she did in a black ink. Now here's a look at some other cards done with the same technique with the newest brushstroke stamps. This is the stamp Petal Poetry. And this is the card I created with this. This I did first stamp in colored ink and then just added touches of the gouache paint to the colored ink stamping. The next one is Exhilaration. And for the card with this, I kind of turned it on its side and painted it in. And I especially loved mixing the blues and the greens on the leaves of this particular plant. Something our particular stamp. That's something you may want to try with your gouache paints. This is Nature's Glory, another stunning, beautiful brushstroke stamp. I kind of swooped it across the top of my card and then painted it in. And you can see again that beautiful She Builder sentiment on this card as well. And these are all four and a quarter by five and a half inch standard A2 size cards. I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so that you're notified of all of our new upload uploads. And here is that supply list as promised.